Hello and welcome to today's online programming. My name is Mary Ann Wright and I'm a 4-H area educator with Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. Let's begin with a 4-H pledge. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Today we are going to be making an easy recipe and since summer is right around the corner and the temperature is finally starting to warm up, I thought we could have a refreshing treat and we're going to be learning how to make mason jar milkshakes. So this recipe is going to be linked on our Facebook page so you can always print that later. But this recipe requires very little ingredients and supplies and it's so much fun because you can make a variety of different types of milkshakes. So the first thing you're going to need is a mason jar. So you're going to want to make sure that you have one that is clean with a lid that fits. And I like to use a wide mouth mason jar because it makes cleanup and everything a little bit easier. Other than that, I need an ice cream scoop and you'll need a measuring cup or something that you can measure your ingredients with. So our ingredient list for this, if we look at our recipe, is very small. Basically we need some ice cream, milk, and flavored syrup. So those are our must-haves and actually if you just want a vanilla milkshake you can just use uh, vanilla ice cream with no flavoring. So here I have my ice cream. So I'm going to start by adding four large scoops of ice cream to my mason jar. And this is why the large mouth comes in handy, that wide mouth, because your scoops can easily go down in there without much mess around the rim. A few of those are a little skimpy, so I'm gonna do one more right here. And then I have a quarter cup of milk. So a quarter cup to about four scoops of ice cream is what you're going to want in that jar. And then you get to add your flavoring. So this can be anything. I really like chocolate milkshakes. So I'm going to add some chocolate syrup to my jar. Okay. Now all we have to do is put our lid on our jar and tighten it really well. Now if you have any spills or anything running down the jar, you want to wipe it off now. So I have a little bit of ice cream. So I'm just going to wipe it. And then you're going to shake your jar. So this is fun. Just shake it until all the ingredients are really mixed well. And this prevents us having to use a blender for our milkshakes and they turn out so nice and creamy. So you'll be able to tell when your ingredients are all mixed together in there. And then all you have to do is take off the lid and you can garnish it any way you want. So the recipe suggests garnishing with whipped topping and sprinkles and maybe a cherry, um, but you can look at your pantry and see what you have. So I'm gonna top mine with some cookies that I have crumbled up here. You can also crumble up toppings and add them to your milkshake. And what you want to do for that is go ahead and shake it. And then when you unscrew your lid, you're going to add your toppings and then do a little shake again. That way it will blend them all in. So you can enjoy your milkshake right out of the jar or you can pour this into another container. But I'm going to enjoy it right out of my jar. I'm going to add, just add a straw here. And then your milkshake is ready to drink. So I hope you will make this, especially since we're finally going to start getting outside with the warmer weather. These are great and customizable to anybody's liking. So if you have somebody in your family that might want a peanut butter milkshake, just add a little bit of peanut butter or strawberry and... Everything is contained in just in this jar, so there's very little cleanup. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today as we made our mason jar milkshakes. Hope you join us again tomorrow as we continue our online programming. Thanks, guys.